para todos aquellos que están buscando el boletín, eh, pueden agarrarlo de ahí de la, eh, haciendo scan en la página. Y aquí el Shack eh, está repartiendo también el, el día de hoy. Shack, levanta la mano, Shack. Quien necesite. Nosotros en Gracia Viva UNC creemos que todos merecen ser loved, heard, affirmed, and respected. Nosotras en Gracia Viva creemos en la iglesia es posible ofrecer esto unos a otros cuando listen, learn, appreciate mercy, and love God above all else and our neighbors as ourselves. Por lo tanto, como partes individuales de la iglesia, nos comprometemos a avanzar hacia esta realidad corporativa para que la iglesia pueda ser a voice for the voiceless, a home for the wanderer, a respite for the weary, a balm for the hurting, God's presence in the world. Welcome everyone, bienvenida. We are happy to be worshiping here outside um, along with our digital uh, congregation. Welcome, we are so glad that you are here. Um, today is our Dia de los Muertos, Adoración, Worship, Woo! and Festival. And we are very excited um, to be together in day of worship as we remember those um, who have gone before us. And then after worship, we will have a festival, and there are going to be games and food and fun, and all are welcome to stay for all of that. So we are just so excited. It is such a celebration. Also, after worship, today is Blessing Bags Sunday, and so after worship, you can grab a blessing bag, which you can in your car for um, anyone who is unsheltered and if you see someone on the street who might need something that's a very tangible gift that you can give to someone and so those blessing bags will be out there you can grab one as you leave after the festival because you'll be staying for the festival then um, all of the announcements and events are on our bulletin you can also go to OLUMC org slash events where every announcement is I don't have to stand up here forever but I want to draw your attention to tomorrow there will be a service of remembrance and the details are online but that is a service um, much like today remembering those who have gone before us but it is a time to um, remember those who died while experiencing homelessness and so all are welcome to come and be a part of that service of remembrance. Then Wednesday, we have a virtual happy hour with the pastors. We've moved it from coffee time to happy hour time. And it's going to be a grand old event. Um, that is virtual, so the Zoom link is online. And then the last thing I want to draw your attention to is on November 12th, we will have a blood drive in um, at Oakland. And so can sign up to be a part of that. Also, where can you find it? OLUMC.org slash events. So um, all everything is there. Figure out what's happening. Come, we would love to have you be a part of everything that's going on. And um, let us take a moment as we enter in to worship. I invite us to breathe in this fresh air this Thank you. 
En Cristo luchamos por el bien común de formas no comunes. Okay. En Cristo luchamos por el bien común de formas no comunes. Con una esperanza no común en lo futuro. Con un esfuerzo no común mientras perseveramos. Con valor no común para romper barreras. Y trabajemos a través de nuestra adoración y acción.
God, you gave us life, and you welcome us to death. On this day, we remember those in our church family who have died in the past year. We feel grief because they are no longer in our lives, but we trust in you and in the resurrection. Sometimes the pain of our grief almost overwhelms us. We depend on you and the church to heal us. We know that in you, death does not have the last word. We ask that you to comfort every family. Nos regocijamos cada vez que el plan y gracia viva pueden adorar juntas. Adoramos en dos lenguas, pero con un corazón. Especialmente en este día, podemos compartir el dolor de los demás y podemos proclamar juntos la victoria de la resurrección. Con compartir en el sacramento de la comunión. Podemos acercarnos más. We rejoice every time that Oklahoma and Gracia Viva can worship together. We worship in two tongues, but with one heart. Especially on this day, we can share each other's grief, and we can proclaim together the victory of the resurrection. By sharing in the sacrament of communion, and we grow closer together. Pedimos tus bendiciones sobre los ministerios de Oklahoma y Gracia Viva. Juntos, alimentamos a los hambrientos, proporcionamos refugio para aquellos que nos necesitan, y les damos la bienvenida a aquellos que han sido heridos por la injusticia y el propicio. Ayúdanos a mantener nuestras puertas abiertas para aquellos que nos necesitan, y poder mostrarles el amor que nos has mostrado a nosotros. We ask your blessing on the ministries of Oklahoma and Gracia Viva. Together we feed the hungry, provide shelter for those who need it, and welcome 
and those who have been hurt by injustice and prejudice. Help those who need us to find our open doors. May we show to others the love you have shown us. Oramos por los que sufren en el mundo que nos rodea, con COVID, racismo, homofobia, pobreza y tantos otros problemas. El dolor a veces parece, parece demasiado para soportar. Hoy pensamos especialmente sobre el tema de la integración. Ambas de nuestras comunidades trabajan para ayudar a aquellos que emigran a los Estados Unidos. Sentimos dolor cuando afirmamos que los inmigrantes son tratados en todo el mundo e incluso por los funcionarios de Estados Unidos. ¿Por qué no pueden entender las personas que somos todos hijos e hijas de inmigrantes? Enséñenos la compasión. Enséñenos a cuidar a los más vulnerables y a que ellos no tienen un lugar seguro para vivir. We pray for the suffering in the world we see around us. With COVID, racism, homophobia, poverty, and so many other problems, pain sometimes seems too much to bear. Today, we especially think about the issue of immigration. Both of our communities work to help those who immigrate to the United States. We feel a sense of horror as we watch the way immigrants are treated around the world, and even by American officials. Why do people not understand that we are all the children of immigrants? Teach us compassion. Teach us to care for the most vulnerable, for those who have no good place to go. Dícenos, mientras nos preparamos para el día de acción de gracias, adiento de la Navidad. Que no nos sintamos confirmados por cuán ocupada es esta temporada, para que podamos alimentar a nuestras almas gratitud, alegría y amor. Bless us as we prepare for Thanksgiving, Advent, and Christmas. May we not feel overwhelmed by how busy this season is so that we can feed our souls in gratitude, joy, and love. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen, thank you. As we come to a time of um, generosity, we offer our generosity in a number of different ways. We invite you to a time of giving financial generosity, giving of what you have today. And what we all bring is very different, but what you bring matters. I want to share with you some um, words that are shared with our community by one among us who offers generosity by, um, by writing words that help us uh, process emotion process some of what we're feeling on days like today. And so this offering is from Dr. Gretchen Toller Divas. Saints. We speak your names into the air, beloved ones, for whom we sing or cry, cry out in our dreams or ache to say the things that were never said, for whom we demand God bend the days to just Touch your hand, stop your pain, revel in the fragile twining of our lives. Why must we plead and rage at love's tinsel? Pull it out, not slow, this moving cage of time will not turn it back, will not leave us alone at the last breath. We are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, by those we love but are, are no longer with us. We are also um, reminded by the words of those who have gone before, uh, by prophets and saints from the past. And today, as Pastor Isabel preaches, she'll share words of one of these prophets. And I think that prophets still are all around us. It's important always to listen to the ways 
that prophets are all around us, calling us to lay down our love for power, inviting us to come and learn from those that maybe we have once turned away, telling the truths that we need to hear. And so today, with thanks, for God's grace that reaches to us even before we know we need it, let us bring our gifts and offerings together. As you offer your gifts today, you are invited to, um, to bring them to the basket that is up here in the front, or to give online. You can just simply go on your phone to olumc.org slash give and give your offerings there. Let us pray. Faithful one, as we give thanks for your prophets and for the saints who have gone before, we give you thanks for their words of freedom. We grieve the ways injustice takes its toll on this world. We acknowledge the labors that come at great cost. With these offerings that we bring today, we pray that we may be a community that listens, responds, and offer support and solidarity to all your sacred truth-tellers and holy rabble-rousers until your kingdom comes. May it be so. Amen. The choir is invited to come forward and offer their gift of song.
naciones volverán a ser espléndidas. Las acciones de gracias se derramarán por las ventanas. La risa se derramará por las puertas. Las cosas irán mejorando cada vez más. Los días de depresión se acabaron. Es palabra de Dios. And we share it with the 
with young generations. And in that way, we're building a community from, from the past, the present, and the future. Jesus nos dijo a todos, la muerte no es el final. Más bien es el principio de algo nuevo. Y es en esa promesa que nosotros encontramos el gozo de disfrutar un día como hoy que también parece ser triste, pero lo llegamos a disfrutar porque encontramos ese sentido en esa promesa que Jesús nos hizo. Y un solo día al año las iglesias de todo el mundo lo celebran, contando las historias de estas personas, de estas nubes de testigos. Encontrando comunidad entre el pasado, el presente y el futuro. Here at Oakland and Gracia Viva, we are building a community in our common ways. And you can see how we're doing it. We experiencing bilingual services, experiencing uh, different cultural aspects, such as preparing this altar for our loved ones and making ofrendas which are the things that our people and loved ones enjoy during their lives. That's why you will never find a salad here. En el altar, cuando ponemos las cosas de nosotros, las ofrendas para nuestros seres queridos, son las cosas que disfrutaron en vida. Y por eso es que nunca van a encontrar ustedes una ensalada aquí en la ofrenda. Jamás. ¿Por qué no? Do you want your salad? Right? Yeah. You're gonna have your salad, okay? I promise you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got two, okay? <laughs> and God always turns things around. Because God knows there is a gift in the midst of those U-turn times. On those times when we are in the uncertain, when we are facing we don't know the way, God show us and give us uncommon blessings. The loss of someone we love so much, it can be very painful and it surely turn things around in our lives. For Hispanic and Latinx people, the Day of the Dead make us feel, not only feel close to our roots, but close to those who died and those who probably wouldn't see them in a long time. For many of our my siblings in our communities, they cannot go to birthdays, we cannot enjoy weddings, we cannot, we cannot see them, we cannot attend funerals because we don't have a legal status here. And if we go back to our country, we might never come back. So we miss all those days. Para nosotros, los hispanos, que celebramos el Día de, la, de los Muertos, no solamente es por honrar nuestras tradiciones y raíces, sino también se vuelve un momento tal vez de dolor porque sabemos que no podemos ir a nuestros países, porque no podemos atender ni bodas, ni funerales, ni cumpleaños, ni nada. Y eso nos hace poder sentirnos vulnerables en un día como hoy. So what we are doing here, with all these, did you see, with all these colorful altar, with these dresses, with these masks, this is not a custom for us. This is our tradition, this is our culture. We don't use these to go and say that we are using this custom for people to, to have fun, you know? We enjoy them because this is part of our blood, this is part of our lives. And this is the only way that we can feel close to our countries. And this is why we wear them. And this is why we laugh about death. And this is why we use masks so we can tell them, like, yes, we know that you exist, but you cannot dominate us. We're not afraid of you. Because we know that in Christ is not the end. It's the beginning. Y nosotros cuando estamos disfrutando nuestras raíces aquí, cuando celebramos, nos pintamos la cara y usamos nuestras ropas, usamos todo esto que, que estamos haciendo hoy, de manera no solo para recordar 
nuestros países, sino porque es lo único que tenemos para acercarnos a ellos. Y le decimos a la muerte, sabemos que ahí estás, pero no nos puedes dominar. And when we told death, you cannot dominate me, that we're giving a reverse to all things. That's when God is saying, like, yeah, I'm turning your way to you. And then we can enjoy the scripture, like he was saying, Thanksgiving will pour out of your windows. Laughter will split through the doors. Things will get better and better. The precious days are over. Because in this way, we turn things around. When we celebrate, we still enjoy the time that we got left. But we still enjoy our cloud of witnesses that are with us. The stories of all these saints who went before us are revealed in the changes and the progression that we are enjoying right now. It's thanks to them that we enjoy this and we embody those changes and cultivating the common good in uncommon ways by loving, praying, caring, blessing others in uncommon ways. Cuando hablamos de las historias de cada uno de ellos, honramos lo que ellos también hicieron. Y honramos que ellos nos enseñaron estas cosas y ahora nosotros les damos forma a estas cosas, a esta cultura y este legado. My dear siblings, we don't become saints because we do all these things, praying and caring for others. We need to hear that this is a reverse. We practice this because we're already saints. And it's in that promise, even though we're losing someone, we feel the need to love because we already are saints. And in that spirit, in the same way as one day we celebrate and welcome all these wonderful members in our lives and our families, today, What we are doing is to extend this life, this life that they left for us as a legacy, and now we turn it to the eternal membership. And that's what we're celebrating today. Today we're turning things around in the confidence that there is life after death. And that life of our loved ones still shining And that little light needs to give light. So we're going to invite all of you, all the names that, that we have for this year, that had passed this year, the loved ones that, the, that we don't have with us this year. And we're going to call those names. And we want to invite the families to come to the front and get a lantern and place it on the altar. A memory that as a community we receive it once in our family, our membership, now we turn in the membership to the cloud of witnesses. And because on Spanish, you know, we love music and we love eating and we love festive things, we cannot do this without the music of a mariachi. So here they are. <laughs>
See those dos.
Norma Harris. So have Martin Perez. So bring forth the candle for all the people who have lost their lives crossing the borders.
esta mesa está siendo preparada para todos y todos somos invitados. Esta mesa no es ni pertenece a ninguna iglesia, esta mesa es de Jesucristo. Y si ustedes necesitan elementos de comunión, solamente levanten su mano para que se los puedan entregar, para que tengan esa participación en la mesa del Señor. Nos preparamos para este momento. Since we 
are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Strengthen us to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Por tu Espíritu Santo, haznos uno con Cristo, uno, uno con otros, uno en el ministerio en todo el mundo, hasta que Cristo venga en su victoria final y podamos deleitarnos en su banquete celestial. Por tu Hijo Jesucristo, el Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria son tuyas, Dios Todopoderoso, ahora y para siempre. Thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go forth in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. Remembering, reminded, every day and every step that we take, that we indeed are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So go forth into the world to be the hands and feet of Christ, to be God's love for those that you this day and every day, remembering all that you have learned from those who have gone before. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Y así como partimos de este lugar recordando las historias de aquellos que partieron antes que nosotros, recordemos su legado y seamos esos brazos y esos pies, representando a Cristo en este mundo. Podemos ir en paz. Nuestro servicio ha terminado, pero no olviden que estamos en nuestro festival. Y antes de despedirnos, before we leave, uh, well, not leaving because we're going to have the festival, but before we wrap up the service, uh, we're going to hear the mariachi, we're going to sing a song that is when the saints go marching in. Everybody knows the song. I think everybody knows it. And if you don't know it, it's a way to learn it today. And we're going to hear it in an amazing mariachi. And that's going to be the skill to let us just, you know, say blessings and let us enjoy the festival.
rosa Todos marchen ya Hacia la patria celestial Señor yo quiero estar allá Cuando los santos marchen ya Todos marchen ya hacia la patria del Señor Señor yo quiero estar allá Cuando los santos marchen ya Amen. Amen.